At its meeting on Tuesday, August 18th, the select board listened to town leaders on important local matters, including COVID-19 updates, school reopening, the Unite Against Racism initiative, and more. Municipal producer Yu Xiao Wen brings us the highlights. Needham Public Health nurse Tiffany Zyke updated the board on the COVID-19 situation in town. Our peak was definitely May, beginning mid-ish May. Um, and then we kind of have leveled out, had a slight uptick in mid to beginning of July, but hopefully remaining steady from there. Select Board Chair Mohando said he received a few complaints about people not wearing masks in public. Zach said that overall Needham residents comply with the face covering order. As far as concerns, we are still receiving those about people not wearing masks, about um, different businesses, not employees not wearing masks, things like that. And we report on those as much as possible um, as we get the concerns, we look into them. Select board member Marion Cooley reminded the community of the mask rules. I think that it's worthwhile for all of our citizens to keep in mind that they do not have to be the mask police, all right? That if they need to report it, they can definitely report it. But, but there's also a sense that, you know, the, the rule is, right, that you're going to wear a mask anywhere indoors with other people, it's required. All right. And if you're outdoors, if you're unable to maintain your six feet of distance, then you should be wearing a mask. Superintendent Dan Gudekunst spoke about progress on race equity in schools. He also provided the board with information on reopening plans in the fall, especially what the administration will be focusing on in the next few weeks before the school year begins. We are negotiating with our the Needham Education Association and the five bargaining units because it's a health emergency and we're going to be doing things completely different, we need to sit down at the table with them to negotiate what that looks like. There are a lot of moving parts and pieces, and quite frankly, these all need to come together very quickly so that I can look at the data, the ventilation, for example, our procurement of personal protective equipment is another example, and the health metrics that we are developing uh, to determine whether or not we would be remote or with whether we come back from remote to hybrid. I need to look at all of that and say, yes, we're going to continue. We will be healthy and safe enough to open or not. Um, and that time is, is really within the next couple of weeks. The board approved the appointment of Karis Lustig as interim director of public works. Lustig is the department's director of finance and administration for public services. The current director of public works, Rick Merson, will be retiring after 48 years of service to the town. On July 21st, Needham held its first listening session to kick off its ongoing project, Needham Unites Against Racism. On Tuesday, town manager Kate Fitzpatrick reported on the next steps of the initiative. We think some immediate things that could happen um, in this initiative is to um, include this topic on upcoming meetings so that it's top of mind so we can keep things moving ahead. Um, we had a project uh, called Over Zero, Over Zero Resilience um, workshop that we had scheduled in March. Um, we'll have to look a lot different now and so we do recommend that we start talking about pulling that off now. We think it would be helpful if we could reach out to the lived experience project and um, find out some of the information that they've uncovered if they're um, willing to share that with us and we can use that in our work. Uh, we are, we will be recommending to the board the establishment of a discrimination complaint process that could, uh, where folks could access, folks in the community could access town government as a way to help them um, if they have issues. And so we'll be recommending that, that to you in the, in the very near future. Um, promoting a website that um, summarizes the board committee and uh, board and committee vacancies that we have and then also proposing that the board adopt a goal um, to uh, work to diversify the pool of candidates for um, the elected and appointed positions that we have in town. And then finally, um, we do recommend that this work could be guided by a working group. It wouldn't be a group that would last forever, but it would be a group um, of members of the Needham community to help us lead the initiative. For more information on the initiative, go to needhamma.gov and click Needham Unites Against the Racism initiative. Last but not least, the board discussed the potential regulations on the use of tongue common, especially regarding political expression and offensive texts. I think it's one thing to have a demonstration on the common, which people are free to do. Yes. Um, vigils, but 
to actually place text on the surfaces of the common, I think goes against the, the common usage of the community. Free expression is a very important aspect of our community. But for example, we do not allow swastikas. Correct. So there's a lot of judgment involved and there are public spaces where that may or may not be appropriate to have political expression. And we need to think about that as a community and as a municipality. To watch the entire select board meeting, go to needhamchannel.org. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Yu Xiaoyuan.